I'm Cobra Peter Bailey from Gibson Woods, Nova Scotia. I'm a plumbing and heating technician currently posted at CFP Trenton. And I'm Corporal Kyle Schminninger from Bowmanville, Ontario. I'm a plumbing and heating technician currently posted to CFP Kingston. Whether you're in the regular force or the reserve, being a plumbing and heating technician in the Canadian Armed Forces means doing your work wherever you're needed, whether on base in Canada or on deployment overseas. We install and maintain both water supply and drainage systems, and we also work with gas-fired and oil-fired heating system, as well as low-pressure steam. You know, it can be anything from a uh, broken tap to uh, like a 12-inch water main in the ground. Usually those ones are more of an emergency call, not a work order, but um, big projects like that come up uh, actually quite often and uh, they're a lot of fun to work on. Here in Canada, plumbing and heating technicians are usually assigned to a base and most of our work involves routine in-house maintenance and construction of new facilities. First thing in the morning we'll come in, sign for a work order, speak with the supervisor, see if anything happened overnight like a water main break or no heat call or something like that. We'll scoop up our tool bags, hop in the van, and we'll go to a job. I've had days where I came in and um, I had to go fix a, a water line break at a photo lab. And I've had other days where I've had to do a scouting report for a new washroom that was going to be uh, built. You're always doing something different and your hands are always on better and new things. It's definitely nice to be able to go in and uh, work on something, stand back, look at the finished product and uh, be proud of it. The motto of the engineers is we're the first in and the last out. So before other troops can do their jobs, we have to set up the camps and provide the basic needs like water and heat to make things as comfortable as possible. There's nothing more fulfilling than uh, being able to deploy somewhere in the world and being able to actually do your job day in and day out. It's a, it's a big sense of accomplishment. It's your job to, to support the mission that is ongoing. So whoever is at the pointy end on the deployment, that's, that's your main focus is to make sure that they have, you know, running water and, and food to eat, uh, you know, all the logistics, everything has to be in place for uh, the mission to be successful. On large projects, all the trades work together from the carpenters to the electricians to the plumbers. You, you learn other trades, you, you cross train. Um, you might go work with a carpenter one day because they need a hand. Guess what? You're going to learn. Uh, you might go with a, an electrician one day because he needs help. You're going to learn. You don't have to be a qualified plumber to join us as a plumbing and heating technician. The Canadian Armed Forces will provide all the training you need to become a qualified professional and they'll pay you a good salary with great benefits while you're learning your trade. After basic military training, you'll go to Gagetown, New Brunswick to the Canadian Forces School of Military Engineering. When you complete your course in Gagetown, you will be assigned to a Canadian Armed Forces base for some on-the-job experience. That could mean working with the Army, Air Force or Navy. You're always learning something new. So you have to keep your mind open to new ways of doing things. We have a good crew of guys and they're more than willing to help you out if you show that you, uh, you want to learn, you show the initiative, then uh, yeah, there's, there's definitely guys that'll take you under your wing and, and help you learn the trade. You get to work on so many different things and different projects with different people uh, who have lots of knowledge and, and I would say that my most memorable thing so far would be uh, being able to just tap the knowledge of all the people that uh, I work with in the trade. I got to a point in my life where I really figured out, you know, a job is one thing but a career is another. So not until I got, you know, in the boots and actually on ground to do things, yeah, that's when it kicked in that you had a little bit more self-pride. You walked around with more self-esteem. I can't imagine myself doing anything else. Uh, this is a career for me, and uh, you know I don't, I don't plan on looking back.